Happy birthday, America, and thank you for tuning in to Born to Ride Television. This week we take a look back and pay tribute to the late, great Bruce Rossmeyer, owner and founder of Destination Daytona Harley-Davidson. Bruce was a big-hearted philanthropist that gave back to the community in so many ways, but the Boggy Creek Camp for Ill and Disabled Children was one of his favorite charities. Year after year, Mr. Rossmeyer put on the Boggy Creek Motorcycle Fundraiser and always matched every donation that came in for this well-deserved organization. Collecting over a million dollars, Mr. Rossmeyer used his influence and invited celebrities and superstars to participate in the Boggy Creek Run and to contribute to its success. This week, we talk to Mr. Rossmeyer and feature interviews with legendary custom bike builders Arlen Ness, Eddie Trotta, the Tuttles, and the late great Johnny Chop, along with superstar Steven Tyler, as he performs an impromptu concert to raise extra cash for the charity auction. So stay tuned, it's all coming up right here, right now, only on Born to Rack. I'm Sarah Gertis, Vice President of Marketing and Corporate Development for Camp Boggy Creek. We're delighted to have you with us today. Today's the 10th annual Ride for Children. You can hear the excitement in the background. It's a big time for us. Bruce Rossmeyer, one of our founders, or is now a founder. This ride has now raised over $1 million for Camp Boggy Creek. The camp's been here in operation since 1996. We serve children from throughout Florida with chronic and life-threatening illnesses. We're very unique. These kids are really, really sick, and because we are in effect a 20 for a million dollar critical care facility, we're able to bring them to camp and care for them. This ride is just an amazing fundraiser for us. It's our largest fundraiser of the year. As I said, it started 10 years ago with just a couple hundred riders. Today we welcome 2,000 motorcycle riders from around Florida who are in town a little early for Biketoberfest this year, and we are so grateful for their support of the entire biking community, and especially today, Bruce Rossmeyer, who now becomes our next founder and joins H. Norman Schwarzkopf and Paul Newman at that esteemed rank. We thank you for being here, and we're delighted to have the coverage. Thank you. Okay, it's the Boggy Creek ride number 11. I'm honored to have Mr. Rossmeyer here with me. And Mr. Rossmeyer, congratulations on another great ride. Well, it's a, it just got to say thank you to all the people. Uh, they're the one to make it successful. We probably have over 1,500 people here. And every year it seems to get bigger. People that come last year come this year. And it's just, I appreciate all the people that are coming here and supporting Boggy Creek. It, it's such a great place and it does such special things for families and children with illnesses. And um, the biker community just came out strong today as usual. But how does it make you feel when you have the people behind you and the biker community that actually really cares about something like this? Well, it's, I think the bikers, it's really, I don't, it's not just Boggy Creek, any charity. I don't think anybody does more for charities than the bikers. And we have Boggy Creek, but whatever charity's out there, the bikers are always part of it. And I just feel that coming out here, they just support Boggy Creek and every other charity. When there's something going on, they're here. 
Yeah, and Boggy Creek uh, was, is a special meeting to you because you've been doing it now for um, how many years has it been for you? This is the 11th year with our ride. And so you've been doing it since the very first one? Yes, we started it 11 years ago. Well, last year was the 10th year and we were about 80,000 short and we went way over it. We went from like 980,000 and we raised 800,000 just last year. So we're up about a million six now. That's incredible. How does that make you feel? Well, it makes me feel real good, but again, it's all the people that did it. It's all for the kids, and I think that's the biggest uh, feeling that we get from our heart and all the people walking around here. It's all about the kids, and that's what we're here for. It's the Boggy Creek Ride number 10, man. This thing is unbelievable what Mr. Rossmeyer puts on for the biker community. And we got some celebrities in the house, and we got some superstars in the house, because this is what it's all about, isn't it, guys? We got the tunnels right here, man. How you doing, Paul? Good. How you doing? Man, it's good to have you guys. What does it mean uh, to be a part of this? Oh, you know, it's a, it's a tremendous honor to be here. This is our second year, and uh, Bruce has asked us to come out again. And it's all about the kids, and we do a lot of charity stuff, but I think this is uh, one of the biggest things we do during the course of the year. Yeah. Now, with your schedules, I know you guys are really busy, but how does it make you feel when you're here and see the kids, you know, what they're going through and what they're happening right, what's happening right here? Oh, you know, this camp means so much to so many people, and you can see the positive effect it has on all the kids. and It's just, a, uh, it's just phenomenal. Well, it's really great to have you guys a part of this. Paul Sr., I mean, does this give you a soft spot in your heart, or you have the soft spot in your heart, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I think it's in there somewhere, you know. But, uh, it, uh, you know, it, it for us is, you know, we get to do a lot of things and, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, uh, you know, uh, deep down inside, I think that, you know, like, you know, there's a lot of reward in a lot of different things that we do. But I think this is the biggest reward that we get in being able to be in the position that we are to give back, you know, to, to, to you know, situations like this here. So it's like for us, it's, a, it's an honor just to be part of this, you know. And you guys being in millions of homes every week and taking the time to come here for this. I mean, it's really something. It means a lot to everyone here, I'm sure. And uh, there's superstars here. I heard Steven Tyler's here somewhere. We're going to have to find him. We're going to have to find him, too. But, but what do you think, man? You're pulling up here. You're seeing the people, the bikes, the roar, the rumble, you know, the police escort. You know, how does it make you feel? Oh, it's great. It's a great feeling, you know. And, and you know, we uh, – you know, we, we've been in the position a few times to have the opportunity to, to have police scores and stuff like that. And it's just, a, you know, it's a tremendous feeling, you know, when you're going down the highway there and you got the police and they're stopping the traffic. It's it's pretty damn exciting, you know. <laughs> so now did Bruce call you or did you call him? Or when he calls you, you just, just do what he needs to be done, right? That's it. And Bruce, uh, what Bruce says is Bruce, go, you know, go. That's it. That's it. It's a done deal, you know. <laughs> Well, he's done a lot for the community, and he's, uh, you know, just unbelievable uh, what he's done for the biker community and for mankind itself. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's ha we're happy to be here, and it's happy to see you guys. Any last words to the viewers out there at Born to Ride TV? No, just, you know, I think it's important. You don't have to be on TV to support something like this. So everyone could do their part and really make uh, organizations like this that more successful. And who do you think the real uh, superstars today are? These guys right here. <laughs> and this is what it's all about, people. Bikers doing great things in the community. Bikers coming together and caring from your heart and doing a great thing, man. That, that can't be done any better than that. We just want to thank everybody who came today for such a great cause. And, uh, of course, Mr. Bruce Rossmeyer for uh, heading up this whole thing and having that vision. And stay tuned for that Destination Daytona because it's going to be something else. Thank you very much. We'll be right back with more. Born to Ride. Maybe we'll get Steven Tyler. <laughs> All right. Woo! This is Mike Tuttle from American Chopper, and you're watching Born to Ride TV. Do you get our monthly exclusive newsletter? Sign up at borntoride.com and get on our mailing list today. Find us on Facebook, Born to Ride TV and Magazine the ultimate multimedia biker experience. Well, you know, Bruce is just an icon in the business, and he, you know, he just doesn't stop there. You know, he, he really sees the need to help these people, and, and he does it, and he doesn't stop. Everywhere you go, you know, he's just, you know, another cause, and he's there to help, you know, and there's not real a lot of a lot of people like that, you know. You, there should be a, a lot more Bruce Rossmeyer's in the world. 
Johnny Chop, man, it's good to have you on Born to Ride. Thanks, thanks for having us. What did you think of the ride today? Oh, having a ball, rides always good. It's a fundraiser, it's a great cause. We come out here, beautiful weather, finally let up for us. We're having a good time. It's a great cause and a great idea, and I do a lot of charity stuff, and this is one of them. And we're happy to be down here with Bruce Rossmeyer and the Seminole Roadhouse, and we're just having a good time. So yeah, it's a great cause. That's why we're here. How do you feel being a part of Boggy Creek? Oh, being being part of it is great. You know, it's all about the kids and. Uh, and, he, and we got to thank Bruce Rossmeyer for putting this thing together. That's why I'm here, because of Bruce. And uh, he's he's a very generous man. I've been partners with him uh, in a little bit of business, and he's just a great guy. Christine, how are you doing today, and how do you feel with all the bikes coming and seeing you? I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing wonderful, and all these bikes are really amazing. And I heard a big special friend of yours just now snuck up behind you. Wow! <laughs> this is Christine, our ambassador. She stole my job today, but I'll let her get away with it. And yo, we have a legend on the set right here, Mr. Steven Tyler. Hey, hey. Rock and roll king, man. You're the greatest. Hey, and uh, what's, what's new with Aerosmith these days? Uh, we just put out an album, Honking on Bobo. We got an A&E special DVD that's coming out, but for today, it's all about her and this camp and Bruce Ross Meyer and the Tuttles and everybody that rode here. You know, I mean, I've been, I'm just this guy from Yonkers, you know, and, you know, like Tuttle Sr., you know, that just happened to make it, you know, and our dreams came true and, 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 and it's, it feels so good to be a part of other people's dreams coming true. You know, like this place and making it prolific and making it happen every year and getting more kids to come here. What a great feeling to be part of that dream and just see the joy in people's faces like her. Look at the smile on that face, man. How can you describe that? Uh, free. The guy like Steven Tyler, the Tuttles, the great people here in this room outside, the bikers today. I mean, that's what America's all about. Motorcycling, having fun, and the kids and the children of tomorrow. Any last words to the viewers of Born to Ride? Brick a brack a firecracker, sis boom ba, Christine, Christine, ra ra ra. Ah, put that on the next record. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, Steve. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you, Christine. It's been great talking to you, and we're happy to be here with you. You're very welcome. All right, that's what it's about, guys. You see a real smile here, because it's real. We'll be right back with more Born to Ride. Born to Ride is a multimedia marketing and promotional machine with TV, magazines, streaming radio, and internet advertising opportunities. There are tens of thousands of motorcycles. We reach the people who ride them. Born to Ride. Find out more at borntoride.com. We got uh, Craig Morgan on there. We got all kinds of uh, country singers. Okay. This is signed by a bunch of folks. Can we get a thousand for this one? Right, wait, we got a thousand. Oh, sure wait, we just we really works. make sure it works. Hold on. Make sure it works. Uh, wait. So in order to inaugurate this guitar, we gotta on the spot, Richie, write a song. All right. Ready? Do something. Little blues, right? Do it. Put your biscuits in the oven, honey, put your buns in bed. Put them inside your kitchen, mm, they shall shine and bread. We won't shake and bake you, baby. Won't tickle your own fries. I got them bones up on leg. But won't you open up your eyes? It's so cool. Steve, Steve's been here all weekend long, and we've, everybody's seen him at different times. The wedding party the, the last night got to have pictures with him. But I've been waiting for him to sing, so thank you. Steve and Tyler, ladies and gentlemen. Country and rock are coming together. It's a country guitar. We got 20, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 20,000. 21. We got 21. We got 22. He's going for, look at all these guys. All these guys, you can't, you can't put this together. You can't design this. 
We got $22,000. 23, we got 23. We got 24, he's still in the game. 26. 26.5. You got 28.5? You got 28.5? 28.5. 28.5 is what we got. Give me, give me 30, that might do it. You got 30? 30 grand. $30,000 sold right there. Thank you so much, sir.